Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Hagenstead map. Let's get back to reliving the glory days. Go along with that. Yes, if you take the time to move the pallets to the new production facilities. I've already seen people complaining about this before they've seen anything about the gameplay. Um, saying, oh, well, now we're being forced to do this. You're not being forced to do anything. No one is standing there holding a gun to your head saying you have to do this. No, you don't. You can continue to play your game however you choose. You don't have to go and take it to these facilities. At no point are you going to be required to take anything to these facilities. You can just sell the grain and the milk direct as you have been doing previously. You can now, if you choose to, earn more money by taking it to these facilities and helping them out as well as is the case in real life some farmers choose not to do that they choose to focus on bulk grain production other farmers choose not to do quite so much with the bulk grain production and follow the chain of um production all the way through there are some farmers that do it themselves there are plenty of farmers who have a dairy and then make their own cheese and then sell the cheese they don't sell uh, well they don't sell any milk they have a dairy that they have dairy farm but they don't sell milk they instead process it all through the various different processes and then sell cheese not all farmers want to do this some farmers just want to produce milk and sell milk instead at no point is anyone forcing any of these farmers to follow any particular path. They are choosing to do so of their own free will. And the same will happen in FS22. So I really don't... You, you probably guess I've been looking at some of the um, comments on Facebook and Twitter about um, the upcoming features in FS22. And some of them really make me laugh because of the, the the sheer ridiculousness of the situation where you've got people screaming about how evil it is that they are going to be forced to do these various different things and they don't want to be forced to do it and yada 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 and yeah it was the same arguments in about the beans and having to grow only beans because only an idiot would grow anything else oh i must be an idiot because i grew everything that's what i like doing um Right, I don't really want to do this with the AI extension because it seems to struggle to get around the corner. So we're just going to go with standard hired help on this. I'm going to run it across there. I'm going to leave that one sat there for a minute. And I'm going to go and get this bad boy over here. We will whip that cover off right there. And we will go for a little drive. So we're going to go up here. Fortunately, that one is now facing the right way. So we've got 73,000 litres in there already. These take 90,000 litres of sugar beet. Which is a huge amount of sugar beet. And I think I am going to go into the shop and I'm going to buy the trailer that goes with it. So there's two, there's a couple of different options that we've got. Um, we can have this one. There is like a, a B train trailer type thing. I can't remember what it is. Uh, but I was thinking that we might go with that one. We'll, we'll have a look and see what that's like. See what it's all about. I'm not quite sure what it's all about at the moment. But it will be interesting to take a look at it. And then we can sort of run with that. So the other Tiger at the moment has got 30,000 litres in it. I'm just going to back you up a little bit so that you're out of the way. We don't have anybody getting in the way of anybody else. And we'll go back through here. Are you going to be able to turn around here? I don't know that you are. So if I run you we'll, we'll go and check the other one in a second one problem with sugar beet like a lot of the crops you're able to fairly easily set up each new field the problem with sugar beet is it's a little bit more difficult you have to have a bit more room the same with the potatoes obviously as well you need a bit more room on the headlands to be able to turn round easily and it, it does get a bit tricky sometimes so one i think one more pass would probably be enough Still going to be a little bit of a struggle for the machine to get in there and turn around properly, but I think this will probably be all right. We'll take you over that side. 
And then we can go and check on the other one and just see how that's doing. So I'm going to want to do like a couple of passes along that end that I was working on. Yeah, see, even that's going to struggle a bit. I think we'll we we're, we're trust in it. We, we, we will have some we'll have some faith here. So this one right here, he's done three passes so far. It's actually not too bad here. I'll just tidy up that bit there and we'll let it do another couple of passes, I think. It's actually enough. You know what I'm thinking is if I do a pass here, rather than sending it up and down this way, which is what I was originally thinking, we'll let it work that way. Oh no, I'll have to do quite a lot over that end of the field as well. Alright, no, we won't do that. We'll let it we'll let it run this way across the field. We'll we'll um we'll we'll do another pass across here. That should be enough room then to turn round so it can start moving up and down that way. I've already done most of it on this side. Yeah, I was thinking maybe if we did like another pass or two on that side, several passes on that side, and then it could just keep going like this. But I don't think I will. I think we'll have it moving up and down the opposite. So this is one end of the field now that we've just cut out. And then we'll have one more as well. So you go on just a little bit further like that. And then bring you over here. I'm going to let you... Actually, I don't need to let you do anything. Yes, it's, it's still going to struggle with this. It's at that point right there. And now we'll get over here. And we'll see if we can do a few passes along this end over here. But anyway, the, the whole new factories and processes thing that we've got turning up in FS22. I, for one, am quite looking forward to seeing what is going to happen with that. Um, one thing that I would like to see, and I know that a number of other people would like to see it as well. Help oh, I has completed their task. I doubt it. Oh. Did I exit? No, I don't think I pressed... No, I didn't press anything. Oh, I know, it's the mowing. It's the mower. I wonder what was going on for a minute. Um, Another one that... What was I going to say? I was going to talk about the processes. There was something about those processes... Oh, yeah, uh, because we're going to be moving a lot of stuff from one point to another. A, a, an autoload. Any kind of autoload with pallets, because there's going to be a lot of handling of pallets with this. And I know that us on console, and uh, sorry, us on uh, PC will get an autoload vehicle, right? That is not going to take very long at all until we've got an autoload script on a trailer of some kind that we can start using to go and do this, um, which means that we'll be able to load up those pallets nice and easy, and then off we trot. The console players are not going to get that straight away. It's possible that the console players won't get it at all, and that, I feel, is something that should be dealt with. That, I feel, is something that should be looked at. I think that the console players should be allowed to have an auto load for pallets to help out with this um, new production thing that's going on. If we're going to be moving pallets from one point to another in order to assist with the various different factories, I definitely, definitely think that the console players deserve a way to have an auto load in there. So. Obviously, it can't really happen with just um, uh, just mods, just uh, normal mods, because it's to do with likes of Sony and that not allowing the mods to be approved because they run scripts. So we need giants to produce a trailer with an autoload script on it that will allow you, the console players, to be able to auto-load pallets. Because I know for a fact that there's quite a few people that don't like handling pallets. I'm one of them. I don't like handling pallets. I'm 
fortunate that I play on a PC, so I don't have to handle pallets very much. I can just go and grab me an autoloader. That's not an option for the console. So anybody that is on Facebook, on Twitter, on the Giants forums, start requesting it. Request it anywhere and everywhere you can. Sort of get this message out. They've got time to get one of those into the game. You want an autoloader because it will make a huge difference. It will make a massive difference to the gameplay. And I've always felt that I've, I've, I've never, ever gone in for this whole PlayStation versus Xbox versus PC Master Race rubbish. Um, you play on what you like. Gamers are gamers. We're all the same the world over. We like playing games and, you know... We, we like playing this game. We, the, there are other games that we like playing as well. But we're here to talk about this game. Um, in order to really get the most out of this game on the console, you don't have to have an auto load. You can do it just fine without an auto load. But my goodness me, doesn't it help? Doesn't it help for everything? Um, who is it? I think it was... Z uh, there's a woman called Zaza Gabor. I, she was, I don't know, she was, whether she was a famous film star or just a famous socialite. Um, she, quite well known for being married a, a large number of times, and she said something along the lines of, uh, "You don't have to. A man doesn't have to be wealthy to be attractive, but my goodness me, doesn't it help?" And I think the same kind of principle applies here. The game doesn't, like, the console players don't require, um... Oh, I see. Well, I was wondering why that just lifted up then. Were, were you, are you gonna... Right, we'll tidy that bit up afterwards. We'll, we'll let that go. Um, and we've got you being ridiculous up there. You've managed to turn around here and do quite well. Helper E is blocked up over that way. I'm going to let this one run down to the end here, and then we'll turn it around. Uh, so, yes, you know, it doesn't have to have an autoload trailer for pallets to be a good game, but my goodness me, doesn't it help? Yeah, it's exactly the same principle. So, there we go. We, 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 we can sort of apply the same principles to locating a, a new husband as we can to um, FS22. Doesn't have to have all of the features, but it certainly does help. Now, if we can send that one up along there, this field is starting to look all right. So we'll let you go up through there. You, this side... I think it's just because of the bank over there. Like, it's not a solid wall, so that's why it's struggled with it a bit. I'm not sure. I'll sort that out in a minute. So, anyway, I'm going to just send that one down there, and then I'm going to go over to this one. I will... Actually, I'm just going to run down alongside this one now because the other one is full. I'm not going to get to it before it fills up. So we might as well just take out this one here, empty it out completely, and then we can go back and we can go and get the pink truck, uh, the pink um, harvester, and we can empty that one out. Um, so what is your views on the whole production chains? I know that some of you play on PC and you have factories built into your game doing all this. I'm assuming that some of you will think that this is a good thing. I mean, it does depend how giants have sort of built it into the game as to whether it's going to be to everybody's tastes. But to me, it seems really promising. Like, it seems like we've got something here that could be very, very cool and a lot of fun to use. Um, sort of seeing all these extra bits that we'll be able to get into it. And it sort of makes the gameplay a lot more varied as well. Like, you don't have to just be doing the farming bit. You can also, then we've got the whole delivery bit going on as well. I mean, I've talked about it before. I would like to see an ultimate sim. Basically, 
we can have Farming Simulator, but I did do a bit of a short series on Bus Simulator. And there's other games as well, not just Bus Simulator. There's um, ones like... Uh, well, you had Gold Rush, which was the mining simulator. I did a few videos on that uh, a while back. and Well, quite a long time ago now. Um, and there's a whole load of other ones as well. And basically what I'd like to see, ultimately, is all of these rolled into one. I want to be able... ETS2, a, uh, ETS2 and ATS, the truck simulator ones, um, Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator both of those rolled into it as well so you've essentially got euro truck and american truck simulator games along built into farming simulator right here and all of the other simulator games to go with them like the bus simulator so you've got a town and a big detailed town as well not just the small towns that you get in euro truck but the bigger layouts that you get in the actual bus simulator game coupled that with farming simulator so you go out into the countryside and you've got hundreds of farmers and so we don't just have like a four times map this would be this would have to be a big online game it, it would have to be an mmo you wouldn't be able to do it as a single player it would just be too big like we would be talking hundreds of terabytes of information for the maps alone um or the map um and so you've got thousands of acres you could have farms all over the place you go and buy them from the bank buy them from other players then you've got the truck drivers who would haul it and then you've got the people who run the factory simulators and they build those up as well and it could all be one massive great big game everything all rolled in together that is what I would like to see. You can have Gold Rush in there as well, because you would also be able to have the, the mines and, and stuff like that. And then you add the uh, construction, demolition, construction and Demolition Simulator. That was another one that I played. That can be built into it. We'd have the whole lot. Everything. All in one game. Just all in together in one big, glorious game. Now, that is a game that I would play. That is a game that I would play. Now, this is the different ones that we've got. So, that's 140,000 and that's 260,000. So, we can add 140,000 and we have the A trailer. Which is the one that I've got. I've got that one right there. Uh, Frith, Lusty, Chassis, End, Tipper 1. Chassis, End. I think it must be... End tipper. End tipper. So we could either have another one of those and then fix it with a dolly in the middle. Or we go for the A-train approach on here. Which is those graphics. But the bit that I was actually thinking of having, because I've already got those graphics. Was going end tipper. It's end tipper. I think they both have to be end tipper. Uh, that one, so that we have the other graphics. We have that one. Right there. It doesn't have the bit with me driving the tractor into the tree. Except I actually quite like this one over here. There. Frith guy, your cosplay expert in an alternate universe. Okay, I think we'll go with that. We'll, we'll go with that one. And we'll leave the colours just as they are. And we will buy that one for 53,000. Okay. So we'll run with that for a minute. And then possibly we will change it so that we have... Well, actually, we could keep that one. This one goes on the back. That's all relatively straightforward. And then if we think that we've got room in the fields and room to kind of like move the stuff around what we could also do is get another one of the back trailers on the back on a dolly so we put this one on here like this i mean you could just stack a couple more of these these are only 140,000 liters whereas that one is more so i mean i guess just another couple of these actually 
I'm not. I'm not sure. I kind of like the idea of having a dolly on the back. Like uh, what? Hitch up a dolly and then and then have that one. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of I'm in an iron about that now. So anyway, we've got that bit in here, and I want to switch over, take the cover off of that. There we go. Now it's gonna take some learning to be able to reverse this bad boy. Okay, so we want we've got another hundred and forty thousand of space in here. I've got both sugar beet harvester no I don't. The other sugar beet harvester is not running. He has crashed and burned down here. I don't know if that's a sign of things to come or not. I'll bring him round. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna let him keep going. So I'll send you up across the field there. You have managed to turn around here just fine. So if there's trees or fences or stuff in the way near the end of the field, then they seem to be able to cope with it. If there's not, then they seem to struggle with it. The mower is doing a fantastic job over there. I want to bring this one down over here and we'll unload this sugar beet harvester. So I want to get the back trailer completely full. I didn't quite get everything into that one. And then we'll let it do the front trailer. So we fill that one all the way up, 260,000. And then we will go with that one right there. We'll put in all of the rest of it. And then we can go over to the other harvester. I think at the moment we don't need any more than these two together. I think that's going to be enough. I don't think we need to worry about having an extra bit on top of this. And then later on, once we've got even more land, then perhaps we will consider doing something like that. Really? Of all the places you could go, you felt that that was the appropriate one. <laughs> what do you say to something like that? What? Well, uh, just... Just... But seriously, what is wrong with you? I mean... Just... What am I... <laughs> there isn't anything that I can do or say about that that is going to make sense to anything or any... Like, uh, that is just a part of the universe that I will never be able to understand. There... there, there it, that's just one of those... It, it's just something that has happened that I will never be able to make sense of. It, it, it's just one of those situations where you, you could try to puzzle your way through. You could try to find meaning in the events that led up to that right there. And you could study this for years and you will never actually be able to find the answers that you're looking for. Those answers just don't exist. We will never know why. That will forever be a mystery. But anyway, right. <laughs> never mind the, the great mystery of the universe right there. Let's take this one over and get a little bit more sugar beet in here. So we're up to 320,000 litres of beet so far. We're on, I think it's about 300 and 80,000 litres of... At 380 per thousand litres. So, 380 per thousand times 100 is 38,000. So times 4. 38,000 times 4. Does anybody know what that is? Have we got any maths teachers listening? 38,000 times 4 is going to be 120 uh, plus 36. It's 120, 156,000. In theory, we should get about 156,000 for one load here. We still need to finish loading it. We haven't finished doing that yet. 
So that one's empty. I need 40,000 more liters. There's 20,000 in the other sugar beet harvester, so we'll be able to get a little bit off of there. Let's just take another quick look, see what is up. There were 377, so we're not going to get quite that, but it's about 150,000, I think, for one load, which isn't too shabby. I'd say that was pretty good going. Let's go to you. Right, you're on the last little stretch here, so we will watch this one a second. Actually, I'm just going to have a quick drink. Right, I had a quick drink, and Helper C completed their task at the same time. Now, that's the efficiency, that is. The boss has a drink. The worker finishes his work. I like this arrangement. I do. It is. This is the kind of arrangement that I could get on board with. So let me just go and do that little bit down there that we needed to finish off. That's done, and then we can straighten out the mower behind us, and we will go whizzing off up this way. I'm not going to worry about rowing up the crop just yet. I could get the other tractor and put that one on rowing up the crop already, but I'm going to leave that because I want to do one line around the outside edge of the fields manually for rowing up the crop. And then we will see after that. Right. Uh, I want to go here, here, and so I'm going to come on into the middle of the field a little bit like this. Oops, there. Uh, control V, lower that one down. Okay, let's go around the outside of the field here a minute. I've got enough sugar beets in those harvesters now to complete the load that we wanted. So that's the first load done. Now we've got to remember that we can't actually go too close to the railway down through here because it's got uh, no tip collision on the ground here. Which is it tip collision? I think it's tip collision. Um which stops the grass from coming out of the mower right there see so what we end up with is a massive great big heap on the floor but it's not too bad actually i will stay out from that wall a little bit as we come up through this way and for this field we're gonna need to manually go around twice in order to be able to get everything to fit i think okay we've got that on there and then we go up through here, and yeah, I, well, I don't need to do twice round the entire thing, I'll do another time round down to the bottom end, and then we can just kind of like let the hired help carry on from there, and it'll finish off this field, and then we can go back over to our sugar beet harvesters. And we can finish doing our stuff up there. So I want to just kind of bring this in over here a little bit. Like that. And then straighten up down over to here like this. All right, that's a bit better. Helper J is blocked by an object. What are you blocked by? Probably just try to drive up the bank again. That's what I'm getting. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.